The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke chapter 14, beginning at the 25th verse. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. You know, the reading, the language of the, at the beginning of today's gospel reading about the need to hate family members so as to become a follower of Jesus seems very strange to our ears. It is a Semitic idiom of expressing preference, whereby if someone prefers one thing or one person over another, they are said to love the one and hate the other. The Jesus who said, love your enemies, is not asking us to hate our own flesh and blood. Yet he is calling for a level of allegiance to himself that takes priority over even the most cherished of human allegiances. He is to be the primary love in our lives. That doesn't mean that we will love others less, including the members of our own family. Rather, if the Lord is the first love in our lives, then our natural loves will be enhanced. We will be empowered to love others in the way the Lord loves them. When we love the Lord with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we will be caught up into the Lord's love for others. The more we give ourselves to the Lord, the freer we are to give ourselves to others in the way the Lord gives himself to them. Jesus is aware that he is asking a lot of us, which is why the parable he speaks calls on us to think seriously about our response to his call. Just as a builder has to think everything through before he starts to build, and a king has to think carefully before he goes to war, especially if he has the smaller force. Yet elsewhere in the Gospels, Jesus assures us that if we respond to his call, all embracing as it, as it is, we will receive from him far more than we give him.